Hello, this is Sonia from My Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. I'm going to continue in my The Perfect Sacrifice, which I've just realized some of the letters fell off, so I have to go and fix that. But this is the junk journal flip file tag system, whatever you want to call it, I made just to keep my devotional in, to do my little journaling in. Last week we looked at the burnt offering, so I'll link the video up here at the top if you're interested in seeing that and a little bit what that is about. If you don't know what this study is about, it is about the four offerings in Leviticus and how it points to Jesus and um, to the cross and how it's relevant for us in this day and age. So I've done my sort of little study about the grain offering, which is the next one we're going to do. Just made my main notes about that. Um, I've just cut the devotional part and put it under each of this folders. So yeah, next time we'll look at the peace offering and the sin offering. So this is my little system book book I made, and this is my entry I made last week. So as I said, I've got a video for that. So I want to continue on this page. So it's very wrinkly, so I think we must continue in our journey of mixed media and sort of putting things on top of it. Okay, so the only thing I have is one of the journaling cards which comes with the devotional. I've enlarged it, and I want to use it sort of as a focal point on my page. But let's look at the mixed media bit first. I've got some paints out here, which I think will work nicely. This is like a rose madder gold, but it's more of a dark, almost maroon type of pink. Then I've got this purple one, lilac, which might work well. And then I've got this dusty pink. I might not use all of them. I don't know if I should. Yeah, the purple is probably nice. And some white paint. So... What I want to do is I want to just give it the background. So I'm just going to put some of these paints in here. And then we can see if we can make some sort of background. Or maybe I'll do some work from here, from the pots. So I'm just going to give it some art marks. But what I want, want to do is I want to use the, what do you call it, the, the credit card technique which you just i mean basically use the old credit card and you just smear art marks all over the place so i'm going to use a little bit of this so what you can do is you can do it in different ways obviously you can do it like this then uh, this credit card is actually so it's actually a store card is so um sort of full of paint that almost doesn't have a smooth edge to create all these beautiful artworks. I actually like this more than that stripes. Maybe we'll do a little bit more stripes over here. Just having fun. I don't. I must say, usually I plan my pages fairly well. But today I've really been, it's been a busy day and I really haven't had a chance to really think about my page. So I don't have an idea how it's going to turn out. So we are doing this together and it's just nice to be creative in the Bible. But if we can use a little bit more of, of this beautiful, this is going to be covered up mostly. So I don't think it's going to be really a problem how it looks just want to do a little bit there at the sides also and like all these white space here at the moment it looks like a big hot mess but we can always tone it down by putting a little bit of white paint acrylic paint on top okay so now i'm just going to put a little bit of white acrylic paint on top just to Dull it down a little bit. Make if it's too white now, I'm going to use a, a wet wipe and just take some of the paint off. So I think might be the case. Okay, let's dry. 
so I definitely want to bring a little bit more of this pink in because this picture I've realized obviously it's I think it's going to be better if I bring this pink in so I want to do a stencil on it so I've got my stencils out here so let's see stars maybe let's see crosses that's always a good one um, try to use some different ones so I don't often use obviously this beautiful lace one but it's very fine and sometimes you with paint it doesn't work very well let's see what else we have mm, hearts obviously I've had something like music that would have been wonderful okay let's try mother crosses seeing that we are working with Easter I did put a very little amount of paint on my brush and then I'm just going to go through it the crosses okay once so it's brilliant but at least we get some of this color still in I want some ecstatic about how this page is going at the moment but um, if you don't try things you will never know so i hope you're still enjoying this devotional and it's meaning something to you does anybody have some exciting plans for easter we're just staying at home it's getting colder here in south africa it's definitely around easter autumn is really in full sprung and it's really becoming winter so you can definitely feel this is now the time so this thing I just definitely want to tear around don't want it like sort of a full rectangular something like that let's see if we can find something to put underneath if all else fails go and grab a doily that will look quite nice, that color. And this heart, this craft one might look nice. Let's see. Okay, let's first cut this one out so we can actually see if we can use it. Okay, now let's audition. We can obviously use more than one. Maybe we can put that underneath there. Maybe sort of there or that sort of there this is printed on a sort of a different I at one side my printer is broken so I went to print it at the printing shop so although it's very nice and shiny and bright it's printed on very shiny paper so then I think maybe I'll put it sort of there at the back but let's just turn this heart over because I think that's a top it now this time I mustn't forget to do the grain of the yeah the grain offering there at the top. Definitely want to put that there. Okay, what else can we put on there? Okay, I think what we do is we commit to this, turn it around, and then put it sort of over most of this. Hopefully that will keep our cluster going and we still have a little bit of sort of movement. Go. Okay, there's some things left over printables. So we can maybe see again flowers if you want to put flowers down. A little bit in my devotional, I'm asking you to read, compare, or read the story about where the Israelites get the manna from heaven. And that's been always a very, very intriguing story to me. I remember when I went through the Bible last year for the first time in a year. Obviously, I've read that story many times before, but the Lord has really been just speaking to me over the last first year when i read through the for the bible 
and that story re really made such an impact, impact on me and if and the way I think if you correspond it with the word of God, if you take the manna and you almost replace it with the word of God, there's so many pictures and truth we can see. Like for instance, where they had to pick up the manna daily. They couldn't pick up for today and then hope to have next the next day because it will be rotten or it will be spoiled the next day. And the word of God is saying we need to come daily because the Lord says I give you daily bread. Like we need physically to eat every day just as we need to physically open our Bibles and eat of the word of God, eat from him or almost like from the manna. Um, just as they, as the Israelite got sustained from the manna, um, manna, and um, it gave them strength, and it came down from heaven. So Jesus came down from heaven. Jesus gave us strength. He is the one who fills us, sustains us, and it's very interesting that it, it was not God's intention, or it was not really part of His plan to give them the quails, but they longed to the meat pots of Egypt, and they said, "Oh, we longed." Um, to go back to Egypt, there we could eat meat and we could gratify basically our desires. And flesh is a symbol of obviously carnality, going back to the flesh. So they had everything they needed. God gave them manna that came down from earth, but he didn't satisfy them. They wanted more. They wanted to go back to the flesh. Um, and that is why God gave them at the end quails. And it read at one state, God gave them over to themselves that they ate so much that it almost popped out their ears. Or it, it's actually a very strange story when you read it. So that is what happened when you go to your flesh and you want to feed your flesh. You, in the Lord, and the word of God is not enough for you. The manna that the Lord gave to, um, for the Israelites wasn't enough. So they went back to the flesh. And the flesh totally consumed them. And many, many people died that day also. And that is what sin and carnal and fleshly behavior does. It leads ultimately to our own destruction. And we shouldn't long to what's going on in Egypt. We should long what the Lord wants to give us here and that he wants to provide manna for us. And yeah, that was just a beautiful picture. And I've never seen that before in my life when I read it. Um, and I just thought that was beautiful. I really wanted to sort of remember that. Um, so yeah, I hope you picked it also up in the, in the devotional. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that part of the devotional, which really, as I said, the picture, if you, if you start studying where it talks about bread and manna in the Bible and you you replace it with the word of God, there's so many principles you can learn from the Old Testament regarding the word of God. And then obviously, ultimately, we know the word of God is Jesus. He is word, as it says in John 1. So, yeah, so that is so important to spend every time of day with the Lord and eat from his manna and eat from the bread, the bread of life. And that's why we... Why we remember um, the Lord's um, death by eating from the bread and the and the and the, the wine that's a representative of His body. We eat from Him because we want to be want to be part of us. Not physically, obviously, we don't believe it's really Him, but it's a symbol. Jesus, I want to have more of you. I want you to become almost part of my DNA, so I can become more like you, and I can be your representative here on earth. So, yeah, that's what stood out for me. So, I have already cut out the grain. I've done exactly the same as last time. Cut out grain from the pattern papers, which is part of the devotional. So, I'm just going to put that there. I think I'm just going to use that offering from the grain offering, the word, and then I don't have to stamp it out. Maybe the grain offering. So obviously um, I'm doing, although I'm looking at Leviticus, although I'm looking at Leviticus 2, obviously I'm going to, I'm doing it here. And I'll just continue on with this because it's very unlikely that I will make another entry at any of these pages. So I'll just write down here, maybe Leviticus 2. Maybe I'll do it with this. I'm just going to do the abbreviation. I take it that Leviticus abbreviation is LEV. It sounds, seems to me the most logical one. 
I'm gonna do I'm just gonna wait till this dry and then I will mark that so I got myself recently this stamp it's got lots of sort of mixed media backgrounds I'll show you to see how it looks I love this splatter stamp I don't know if you can see it or and then obviously it's got these backgrounds and things like that. So let's dry this splatter background or splatter stamp up. Do splatters, black splatters. You can start first start with the smaller ones here. And then I think that gives sort of the idea of, of paint splatters. Aligned the words, grain offering. Obviously, you've got a black splatter, some roses, or some some flowers, a mixed media background, and I've got my journaling in here, which I've done, studying it, looking at it, and maybe yeah, I must just remember actually to underline my verse. This is coming loose the whole time. Let's put that back again. I'm just going to do that first part that talks about what the grain offering is. There we go. So this is my second entry. I think, as I said, it seems to me that with this pages, I'm going to do a little bit mixed media. Maybe next time I can do a little bit different, something different, because we've got a new blank, beautiful page. So maybe I'll avoid the mixed media next week. But I just felt to cover the mixed media for this, that side, I need to do it. And this site also so yeah thank you very much for joining me i really appreciate it as i said i hope you're enjoying the study let me know if you started it yet and what you think about it please like this video if you did and remember to subscribe if you like what you see and you must have a fantastic weekend lots of love and hope to see talk to you on tuesday bye bye